Hi guys, I greet you all from wherever you are watching me, depending on your time zone. Again, I use this opportunity to welcome you to today's punchline discussion. Now, yesterday, Mosa Skure, the Gatundu member of parliament, came out with a statement which he referred to as the irreducible minimum demand for any presidential candidate who would want to negotiate for the central region votes. And that statement received a mixed reaction among Kenyans. And so I want us to use this opportunity to analyze that statement so that we can understand Moses Kuria where he's coming from and which direction he is heading to. Because remember, Kuria has registered a party by the name Chama Chakazi. And that party has more than 25 branches in different counties in Kenya. So Moses Kuria is a party leader. <laughs> and in future, Kuria want to be a president of the Republic of Kenya. Again also, Kuria has been for the longest time champion for the dead president William Samoy Ruto to succeed President Uhuru Kenyatta. So before we go deep into that, I have a quick request. You might be watching me and you have not yet subscribed. My humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time once I come out with a video like this, you will always get notified. Again to all the channel subscribers and anyone who dropped comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, please use this, this opportunity to share our video out so that we can attract a bigger audience. Back to our discussion. So, if you read Kuria's list of minimum demand <laughs> for negotiating in Central Region, number one is asking for the position of the Deputy President as a guarantee for the people of Central Region. And number two, Moses Kuria is proposing that the government should be shared 40% to the central region people, then the remaining part, which will be 60% to be shared among other Kenyans. So that one means if, for example, we have 20 CSS or cabinet, yeah, cabinet secretaries or ministers, then Kuria is suggesting that out of 27 should go to central region and the remaining 14 then can be shared among other Kenyans. If you go to PSS, Kuria is suggesting that 40% again should be shared. That means the parastatus, you know, 40% to be shared to central region, then the remaining 60 among other Kenyans. Then we go to ambassadorial positions. At least 40% of, of those positions should be given to central region people, then the remaining 60 to be shared among other Kenyans. Actually, what Kuria is asking for in real sense, it's about almost 50% of any resource or any position to be given to the people of Central Region, then the remaining half to be shared among Kenyans. Uh, we have agreed, first of all, uh, on uh, uh, the position of the Deputy President is not negotiable. Commensurate with our votes, 40% of the votes of this country are from Mount Kenya region. So now that you have given you know, you know, in to other people, to see how they can also lead this country. We cannot completely you know, give up on everything. And that's why we are saying the position of the deputy president is non-negotiable. Second thing, we want to have a share, a proportional, not a favorable, a proportional share of government. So if we have got uh, 22 ministers, seven, 40 percent, yeah, six to seven ministers should come from Mount Kenya region. Now we have got two, three ministers. Is that fair? We want 40 percent of all the PSAs to be from Mount Kenya region. We want 40% of uh, uh, Parastatus, CEOs and, and chairmen and board members even, to be from Mount Kenya region. We want 40% of ambassadorial position from Mount Kenya region. That is not a favor we are asking for. That's a minimum we deserve, and that's our right. There is objective that Moses Kuria want to achieve. And number one, in my view, I have been saying for the longest time that Kuria is laying ground to get out of the UDA circles to get out of this hustler nation thing and uh, forge his own political path. Maybe negotiating with other people or working with other people, i.e. Raila Odinga, Kalonga Musioka, Musalia Mutabad. That's why you see he come out with the demand that William Samai Ruto cannot meet or he cannot deliver even if he agree to them. Because when Kuri ask for 40% of the cabinet position to be dished to the central region people 
And when we understand very well that when President Uhuru Kenyatta and Dr. William Samuel Rudo formed the government in 2017, they shared half-half. So the half that William Samuel Ruto received, he, he gave all of that half to send to people of Rift Valley region. So it means 50% of President Uhuru Kenyatta's government was the people from Rift Valley. So if Ruto will get the government, how possible is it for Ruto to give 40% to central region people? <laughs> what I understand simply is that maybe Ruto can take that 40% to Rift Valley people or 50% of it to Rift Valley people. Then the remaining 50 he can share among Kenyans, but not to central region people. So Kuria understanding this, he knows that William Samuel Ruto cannot accept this min max minimum requirement or minimum demand. So, Kuria is just laying a ground to get out of William Samuel Ruto politics. Again, in that way, even if Ruto can accept this irreducible minimum, there is still a tag that William Samuel Ruto is working with, whereby many Kenyans have a feeling that the presidency has been reduced to a Kikuyu Kalenjin presidency. If it's not a Kikuyu, it is a Kalenjin. And if it's not a Kalenjin, it's a Kikuyu. So having that tag, Ruto cannot accept to go the Moses Kuria way because it simply will be reflecting on what many Kenyans have believed that the presidency has meant to be a two-community presidency, a two-community power, and a two-community government. So for that reason, with the tag that William Samuel Ruto is working with in his neck, he's not going to accept what Moses Kuria is trying to lay down. So having it clear, simply, Ruto might not work with the Moses Kuria. So that alone is going to serve the interest of Moses Kuria getting a way to walk out of William Samuel Ruto politics and forge his own path. When he gets such that when he gets to Central Region, he will simply tell the people of Central Region, look here, we try to help work with William Samuel Ruto, but he has refused to give us a share of the government the same way President Uru Kenyatta gave half of the government to him. So he will get something to use to the campaign William Samuel Ruto in Central Region. So that is from for the William Samuel Ruto side. Now let us come to Moses Kuria as an individual. Kuria is a person who is aspiring to at least one day become the president of the Republic of Kenya. And that's why you see Kuria has gone to an extent of registering his own political party, Chama Chakazi. <laughs> so that one day he can use it to ride to the president. Because in Kenya, First of all, you need to have a political party for you to be seen as a serious person. And that political party should have people elected in that party because the party leader is more stronger than the political party in Kenya. So Kuria understanding this, with his ambition to become a president in Kenya, he had to go and register his own party, and then work on it so that it can come on the national platform so that it can look like a national political party. So, having this clear in mind, and even in fact, you know when you want to register a political party, they ask you to have at least branches in 25 counties within the country. So that means that it should reflect the face of Kenya. So, when Korea goes ahead to set such irreducible demand from William Samuel Ruto, that alone is a hindrance to Moses Kuria presidency in the near future. Because Kuria has reduced himself to a person who is only negotiating for the Mount Kenya region, but not a person who is coming out to be a presidential, uh, you know, a presidential candidate who at least one day will assume power. Because now, when he says that this one is a reducible minimum for the central region people, it simply means that Moses Kuria is returning back to the regional politics, but not national politics. Because among the serious contenders in 2022, none of these individuals can go the way Moses Kuria is going. That, let's assume Salam Davadi or Kalonga Mushoka want to negotiate with Raila Monodinga, then he tell him, Kamba should get 40% of your government. Or Salam Davadi telling Raila Monodinga that Western region people should get 40% of your government. That alone reduces Salem Davadi to a lawyer leader, but not a national leader. So Kuria was coming out to be a national leader with his party, but the way he's going now, he is getting back to 
a regional leader or let's assume a count leader because now he's negotiating for his people in central region but not for the Kenyans whom he's intending to lead at least in the near future. So that is a hindrance to Moses Kuria. And number two, since Kuria has opened more than 30 offices across the entire country for the Chama Chakas, this part could have attracted more people going into it. But the way Moses Kuria is putting out his demand, this alone is going to shy other communities that were set to embrace the Chama Chakazi that they can vie in that party. In fact, if there are aspirants who would want to register on Chama Chakazi ticket, I think these people are going to shy away from that party simply because they might come from regions which are failing to be marginalized, which are failing not to be part of the government. So for that reason, these people will not embrace his party because Chama Chakazi's party leader is championing for the central region people, but not for the entire Kenyans. People who are feeling that they are left behind. People are feeling that they are being oppressed by President Ruben Hatta government. People who are feeling that they are not securing um, jobs within the government. So, Korea is all going to lose in one way or another. So, as an individual, Korea is losing. And uh, to do with his party also, his party is going to lose no attraction of more people to his side. So, Kuria has just contradicted himself when Kenyans were just taking him seriously, seeing that Kuria at least can become a leader in the near future. And now, since Kuria is putting this irreducible minimum to all presidential candidates, now let's go to Raila Odinga and Msalem Davadi and if also Kalonzo will be there. So, what, uh, what Kuria is setting out is something that I feel none of these guys might embrace to go that direction despite the fact that they might need the vote from central region. Raila Odinga is one person who has been championing for the equality in Kenya and even when he campaign he always say that ukitaka kuandikwa kazi wanakuuliza jina lako ni nani they want your surname so that now when they know you are called Omondi or Echesa or those other names then the possibility of you getting employment is not there. So what Raila has simply told Kenya for the longest time is that for you to secure a job in Kenya, you simply need to be maybe a Kalenjin or a Kikuyu. That's the only way for you to get a job. Then someone comes here to tell you you need 40% of anything that will be coming from your government. Is it possible? I think Raila Monodinga might not go that direction. Someone like Msala Mudabadi is a person who would want to be a president maybe if elected who care about all Kenyans, but not a tribal person. So again, he cannot go that direction. So none of these presidential candidates can take a bare min minimum demand from Moses Kuria's side. So in itself, I feel that Moses Kuria has gone very long. Kenyans having it clear that at least for the longest time, the Kikuyu community has led the country for the longest time. Then again, we have Kalenjin community coming in for almost 24 years. So in that way, I think Korea has just lost the radar. Now, I think I have finished my duty. And what is remaining, it is your responsibility. Now, go to the comment section and tell me what political implication does Moses Kuria's statement have to do with William Samoy Ruto, Moses Kuria himself, because he's a politician with ambitions, and to the other presidential as a